everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel this is Thoma and you are on the last episode of this series let's celebrate biodiversity and today I will show you how you can paint a cute little bunny well uh, this series was mostly dedicated to watercolor painting and I am so happy to share with you all various other styles of watercolor painting other than the traditional watercolor art and how you can experiment with colors. Today I'll use my Artist Pro sketch pad whose paper is of 110 GSM and I will be using Camel Artist watercolors. Before getting started with the painting, you need to draw the basic outline of the rabbit and uh, for the rabbit drawing, you can take any picture, any rabbit picture as a reference. You will get plenty of rabbit picture um, on the internet. You can also try searching from these royalty free sites which are Pexels or Pixabay. I took this reference image from Pexel but the reference is only for the basic shapes and outline. The color tones or everything which I'll be doing in this painting is a very different from the actual image. I will try to keep the color value on a lighter tone in this painting and I will paint this with subtle colors that will give a refreshing effect to our mind. For painting its head area, I have applied very lightly burnt sienna and Prussian blue below its ears and around its eye area I have applied Prussian blue and for coloring its ears and surrounding the nose area I have applied burnt sienna. If you ever look at a real rabbit's photograph, you can never find these tonal values in the photograph. This is where you need your mind to work, where to put which tonal value colors that will bring more liveliness in your painting. There's one question may arise in your mind why not to put the same color i see in my reference photograph i will tell you that it will not give the liveliness in your painting uh, the viewer or the audience who will watch your painting will merely see a two-dimensional photograph without having any color depthness. So for this reason, for painting out the lighter areas or the areas where the sun rays are reflecting, I am using Prussian blue and somewhere I am using Crimson Lake where it is more dark. And sometimes there is no hard and fast rule where to put which color. You can experiment with literally any colors, but um, these two colors, Crimson Lake and Prussian blue, you need to stick to these two colors and uh, alternate your color variations. So for this painting, my color palette was limited to Prussian blue, Scarlet Red, Crimson Lake and Burnt Sienna. And for painting out the darker areas like the eyes or the nostrils, I used Ivory Black. And for painting out those grasses, I used Sap Green. You have to be very careful while painting out the eye and uh, because that is the most important area which will give the liveliness to your painting. The upper left corner, I have kept the paper white and the other three areas are painted with um, Prussian blue mixed with ivory black. And I'm once again telling you, please use a fine brush and work very minutely while you paint the eye. Rabbits are such a cute little animal. I am really very fond of them and they make great pets as well. They really get very attached to human beings. I mean, I have experienced it. I used to have a bunny as a pet and uh, he was with us for the last five years and last Christmas 2019, he left us all. Rabbits make wonderful indoor pets. They are very adorable and if a bunny starts loving you, they will love you forever. And I have experienced that love, that purest form of love. Rabbits can be quite affectionate animal, but their personalities vary from individual to individual. Uh, most rabbits don't particularly like being held up or picked up or some bunnies are there who keep themselves aloof from others. But at the same time, there are few other bunnies who like to 
cuddle with your master or spend time with the master sometimes you will find them they will swirl around your feet just to grab your attention and sometimes they will just keep themselves in a corner or try to stay aloof from the outer environment rabbits live on an average uh, 10 to 12 years and before adopting any rabbit you must be very sure about uh, how to pet a rabbit and how to take its responsibilities i would say do your research before adding a bunny to your family and if you ever plan to do so i can assure that you will have a great experience so now let's get back to the painting i'm almost done with it few more brush strokes left i have done the grasses with a uh, sap green and somewhere i have applied deep green color and for painting out those little whiskers i have applied prussian blue and ivory black with a fine detail brush with the same detail brush i am applying chinese white on the outer furry areas i am also adding a few more white brush strokes on its body to give a furry effect and yes i'm almost done i really had a great time sharing all these watercolor animal drawings and i got a lot to learn from this series thanks a lot guys for watching this video and making this series a successful one i really appreciate your love and support you showered me with in this series please subscribe and support this channel for more painting videos and time lapses i wish you all have a great day and i wish to see you soon on my next video with a new painting series so till then bye bye love you all